Hi, my name is Mitz, and this is my story about how I came out of the church and into the arms of Jesus. Um, I was a Mormon for 35 years, fourth generation Mormon, and um, my, my biggest goal was to be sealed and have my children sealed to me and become a forever family. And so before I tell you my story, I'm just going to preface this with, um, it's just about truth. That's where my heart is. And it's not to attack anyone, and it's not to make anyone feel bad, but it's just about truth. And so I'm just going to encourage you as you listen to my story, that remember it's just about truth. And um, truth will stand, no matter what, no matter how you test it or what you do to it, the truth will always stand. And um, I also feel that if someone knows all the truths of the Mormon Church and the doctrines that are taught and they still choose to be a Mormon, um, I'm okay with that. It breaks my heart because I, I think that they're being deceived still, but um, mostly my point is just about truth. And so um, my story is, is um, my first marriage ended, um, part, not all because of my want to be a forever family, but that was absolutely part of it. And realizing that that wasn't going to happen, um, I had lost a daughter. She died when she was a baby. And the church doctrine teaches that the only way that I could have her back was to be worthy and have her sealed to me in the Mormon temple. And otherwise, she'd be given to a worthy uh, Mormon family to be raised in heaven. And so um, I really, really wanted the security of knowing that, that I would have her again and be with my other children. And so um, that marriage ended, and I met my now husband, who was a return missionary. And we set out to take temple classes, and we were going to start the process of going to the temple. Um, at, at my husband's work, he was witnessed to by a Christian, and uh, they actually exchanged some things because my husband was actually wanted to get him back into the church, and he obviously was, was wanting to tell my husband about Christianity and Jesus and the Bible. And so uh, my husband went on a search, started to read the material, and he verified everything that he read through church resources. He, he really didn't want to go outside of the church doctrines. And so as he studied, he started to realize that there was some really, really big holes that he couldn't patch. Holes in the doctrine, holes in facts, and a lot of things that the church doesn't reveal because they don't uh, view them as faith producing. They, uh, you're taught that if it hurts your faith, not to look at it, not to read it, and not to watch it. And so uh, he, he has a, a degree in anthropology and archaeology. And so as he started to compile this, he, he uh, started to come to me. And he was met with, with horrible resistance and anger. And I was so afraid um, because the only thing that I knew, being raised in the Mormon church, I just... I thought I knew with all my heart that it was true. And so slowly, um, I had to, to decide what was truth. Because at, if you're going to base it just on a feeling, if you're just going to pray about the Book of Mormon and go on a feeling, then I, I really look at the Muslim religion. Because they too had an angel who came to the Prophet Muhammad. And uh, Muhammad then wrote a book called the Quran. And they are a devoted, passionate people. They pray seven times a day. They know that their religion is so true that they will, you know, uh, they'll die for, for Allah, for, the, for their God. And so um, it, it becomes about truth. And that there comes a point when you just need to investigate and find out what's truth. You know, if you'll, before you buy a car, if you look at Carfax, you want to know the history. You want to know before you invest. This is your salvation. If you're going to base your salvation on something, you, you need to know that what they're telling you is indeed the truth. And so um, eventually, little by little, um, I, I started to research on my own. 
and I, I really stayed within the confines. I started to read Mormon doctrine, and I started to look um, on the church websites and started to figure out that the things that my husband told me um, was true. Joseph Smith really did have 34, maybe more wives. Some of those girls really were 14 years old, and some of those women who were already married to already living men, and Joseph Smith took their wives. Um, more and more, just there's there's not a shred of archaeology um, evidence for the Book of Mormon. Not one, not one weapon, not one animal, nothing. And and if that was the only problem, but it it comes to a point when the the evidence is compiled, and you have to use your, your God-given common sense to weigh out and find out what is truth. And so um, as I did that and I started to read the Bible and realized that the Bible is true and that it has been translated correctly because uh, as you're taught that, that we believe the Bible so long as it's translated correctly, there's no evidence that it was not translated correctly. In fact, there's manuscripts that were distributed all over the world before the Catholic Church ever took hold of the, the Bible and those manuscripts um, match the, the King James Version within 98 to 99 percent true. And so as I started to read the Bible and let God just, just um, administer to me through His Word and as my husband, as I saw him indwelled with the Holy Spirit and as I saw him um, become a new creation in Christ, my heart softened and as I discovered truths um, slowly the scales fell and I realized that uh, it's not about temples and it's not about men and it's about me and it's about God and it's between me and Jesus and the freedom that I have um, in Christ is just amazing and uh, everything is good and sweet and and I've come to understand that my works I'm not earning my way to heaven that um, because I'm indwelled with the Holy Spirit because I've given my life to Jesus uh, I, I want to do good works I feel like that that's a natural outcome now of being indwelled with the Holy Spirit and so um, I'm here to encourage you, if you watch this, just to look for truth and to know that there, there is truth and there are answers to all your questions and that it's okay to ask questions. And uh, I just got to go to my first Christian wedding and it was my daughter. And there was no greater joy than watching my saved daughter be walked down the aisle by her saved father and give her to a saved man. Um, two years ago we were baptized into the body of Christ as a family and a, a former Mormon had said one of the most profound and most comforting things that I'd heard since starting my journey and as we all stood in the water with the Christians uh, playing worship and praise music he said that's how you become a forever family and I really believe that that in heaven as, as believers in Christ Jesus that we will be a forever family and that you can know that you have eternal life and you can know that you will be with him Jesus your Lord your King and your God